we were able to obtain a P1 approval for three years uh, in about six to seven days it took for processing. And this athlete was permitted to play on any NFL team for the duration of this visa. And he ended up getting picked up by the Raiders and then a couple weeks later picked up to the active roster of the Jaguars. How's it going? My name is Sherrod Seward and I'm the managing member here at Sherrod Sports Visas, where we pretty much exclusively focus on immigration options for athletes around the world. We're primarily known for combat sports where we work with organizations such as Top Rank, and individuals such as Canelo Alvarez and many UFC champions. And what we specialize is, in is placing visas through agents and other third party entities rather than the employer sports league or promotion itself. And what this does is it allows the athletes to continue having a visa for multiple years, even if their employment opportunity is cut short. In the instance of football, there's a lot of international athletes that would love to participate in the NFL, but it's often the case that it's hard for them to keep a roster spot. For example, during training camp, there's a lot more roster spots than during the season. And when these players lose the, their roster spot and get cut, they also lose their visa unless they switch to another category. Three years ago, we approached the NFLPA about this idea of bringing uh, the way we do immigration options in combat sports to football for this very same purpose. And to go back about six months, we were able to get our first case approved uh, for a cornerback who was uh, cut from his team and another team wanted to sign him during the middle of the season, but they did not want to hold up a roster spot. We were able to obtain a P1 approval for three years uh, in about six to seven days it took for processing. And this athlete was permitted to play on any NFL team for the duration of this visa. And he ended up getting picked up by the Raiders and then a couple weeks later picked up to the active roster of the Jaguars. And what I'm doing now is kind of discussing some of the questions that we were asked from NFL uh, executives as we uh, introduced this idea uh, that we saw. One of them is, what do you do about the consultation letter? We actually do not need to show a consultation letter from the NFLPA to get the visa done. What we did was show that the NFLPA does not issue these letters for players that are not currently on the active roster. This is something that we do often in other sports. For example, we have done some uh, NBA related work. We were able to do the same thing to show that consultation letters are only available for persons currently on the roster. The next question we received is, if the team is not the petitioner, who is the petitioner? In reality, it could be anybody. In the case uh, that we did, it was the agent that was able to apply for the visa. And other circumstances, we've used family members, we've used companies, uh, sponsors. It could really be any organization that is an LLC or a U.S. citizen. If it's a U.S. citizen, we just have to show a little bit more paperwork as far as uh, providing a passport and in some uh, circumstances, a birth certificate to show that they are actually a citizen of the United States. And by doing this, we actually don't even include copies of NFL contracts in this petition either. So there's no consultation letter, no requirement for the team to be involved as a petitioner. And also there is no uh, need for an NFL contract to be issued with the petition either. And by doing this, what it results in is a multi-year P1 visa. In this case, it was three years for which this player could play for any team in the United States without train, uh, well, any team in the NFL without changing his visa, whether he's cut from one team or the other, which allows him to be immediately available, uh, just like any other player would that was here domestically. And when you think about it, if you're an international player and you're only making a roster on the training, training side of things, if your visa gets cut, it's very difficult to one, train to be a football player outside of the United States, and then two, be immediately available for opportunities as they arise and are pretty short notice. So this helps satisfy both of those needs. 
And we think that this is a great opportunity for players as they leave college and get ready to enter the NFL draft. And also for players that are currently on rosters, but may not have a long-term home and might need something more substantial for their visa purposes. In addition to this, having your visa placed with a third party also allows for support staff and family members to get on, on board as well. For example, it's not uncommon for us to bring in um, specialty coaches just for that individual uh, on P1S visas. For example, we've had a baseball player that wanted to bring in their own individual training staff from the Dominican Republic. We were able to get all three of those individuals P1S visas so that they could support that individual later down the line. And we've also used this for extend, extended family members. For example, we can get parents in under the P1S uh, visa and uncles and things of that nature. And the team doesn't have to be involved in it at all. It's a completely appropriate and something we do all the time for third party petitioners to participate in that process. Uh, we're here for questions and would love to be a resource going forward to help these international football players have the same advantages and flexibility as their domestic counterparts. And we believe this is a great idea for the NFL, for the NFLPA and the players. If you have any questions, don't, do not hesitate to contact me. Again, my name is Sherrod Seward, Managing Member at Sherrod Sports Visas. Thank you for your time.